Hi everyone, I just wanted to share a project I've been working on for the past couple of months. I have developed a Crestron Zoom Rooms control module and user interface. So what we have here is a Zoom Room running in a virtual machine on my desktop. I have two USB web cameras and a USB HDMI capture device routed to the Zoom Room machine. I have a Crestron Smart Graphics project running on an X panel, but this could just as easily be a physical TSW 1060 panel running on a boardroom table. The start page of my demonstration project allows you to specify the host name and password for the Zoom Room. Hit connect to begin the connection process. After the connection has completed, you are presented with the main page. My demonstration project has been inspired by Zoom's native control apps from iOS and Android, and so my project tries to copy the look and feel of the native Zoom experience. However, because this is a full Crestron project, any aspect of the look and feel can be customised to suit your client's needs. Down the left-hand side are the main category selection buttons. Meet Now allows us to start our own meeting. Meeting List, this will give you a list of meetings that are booked in our room for today. This information is pulled from the calendaring system that is configured for the Zoom room. Join. This allows you to join an existing meeting that has been set up using the meeting number. Presentation. This allows you to start a local presentation meeting. Phone. If your system is configured as a SIP client, you can use this section to make regular phone calls. Settings. This allows you some diagnostic information and allows you to specify which audio, video inputs and outputs you would like to use for your Zoom room machine. Also allows you to specify the audio levels. So without further ado, let's start a meeting. If you just hit start, it will connect to the personal meeting identifier of the room. So after a short delay, it will connect to the meeting and you should be in there. There we go. So this is the call active page. It allows you to mute your own microphone, stop your video, share content using other the laptop, desktop method or iOS airplay method. It allows you to change your layout, camera control, manage participants. Currently, we're the only participant in the meeting. Invite additional participants. I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. I've got my laptop set up to the left of me here. So, I'm going to accept it. So, because it's in the same room as me, we might get a bit of feedback. So, I've just muted all the microphones. There we go. Uh, I will turn my camera back on. And as you can see, we're in the meeting. So I'm just getting to the end of the meeting and we'll go back to the Meet Now page where we left before. So we're on the meeting list page now. And as you can see, this is the list of meetings that I've been scheduled for the room for today. They both have that same ID, which is basically the PMI of this room. If I hit join meeting, it will just connect to the, the PMI, one touch button. Same as before, we were just in a meeting. So we're here on the join page now. I've got a meeting set up on my laptop. Uh, I'm going to connect to its meeting number. So you would enter that using the keypad. I've actually got a password set up on my personal meeting room so I'm going to enter the password and after a short delay it should connect. So much, so as, before, much as before we've got a bit of, audio, a bit of audio feedback. So I'm just going to mute that again. Unfortunate side effect of being in the same room. Uh, so much as before we've got the participants list but now seeing as we're not the host we have limited control so we can basically only pin their video or unpin their video uh, i didn't show you before but we've got camera control so uh, i don't actually have pan tilt zoom on my camera but it allows you to zoom in and out digitally and if you are zoomed in you can pan around a little bit so yeah you can emulate the effects i've actually got a second camera set up so if you hit this button you will flip over to my other camera which is down there and yep, go back to the other one, dismiss that, and there we go. 
and leave the meeting. So I'm going to demonstrate the presentation page. From here we've got the other laptop or desktop options. So if I go ahead and hit laptop, after a short delay it connects to a meeting which is a presentation only meeting. And from my laptop I just need to start sharing. So this, you can either do this from your laptop or the Zoom app on your phone, same as normal. So just enter the sharing key. And there we go, that's my laptop presentation. And I'm just going to go ahead and stop sharing. Now, what you can also do is share from iOS. So I've got a little iPad here. You can uh, just go to AirPlay and you should see the room entering the code. And there we go, we've got our iPad display. To stop sharing, just hit the stop sharing button, or alternatively, you can escalate this into a full meeting and then you can invite additional participants. So we're here on the settings page. This just allows you to select which camera you would like to use. You can also specify a different audio input. You can choose which audio output you want to use. In this case, there's only one. You can change audio input levels and audio output levels. You can also disconnect, which will take you back to the start page. That's it from me, guys. Thanks for joining me. I hope you like what you see. If you've got any questions, please get in touch. Cheers.